Hello and welcome, I'm Maroomba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play more Some Assembly Required with Stijo. How's it going, Stijo? Ah, uh, can't complain. You ask me that question every fucking time. Like, that's why I, I stumbled on my answer there. What? I asked you so how you're doing? Yeah, Am I not allowed question. to ask you how you're doing? Every fucking time. You know, no, what are you talking no, about? We didn't. We haven't played in like 24 hours. No, that's right. Yes. Okay, 24 hours, yeah. I should probably get changed out of these clothes. It's been like four days so far. I mean, yeah, it's gross. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we're making yeah. bigger trains. I've convinced him. It took some effort. Yeah. See, Joe, do you think we should make bigger trains? Yeah, we could do that. Yep. Yeah, we could, yeah, we could do. <laughs> effort. I'll go and... Uh... Actually, I should have probably well, just dunked another two cargo wagons on the back of that one, shouldn't I? See, the issues, we're just, we're just running into issues where the damn iron can't keep up. And uh, it just, can't keep up. It just be easier. You know, I, I actually wonder if maybe I, we're running the power in between these splitters, which is annoying because that makes it complicated for the splitter thing. Okay. Grumble, grumble. Okay, like, here's here's my example, right? Over here. I, I'm because miles of... away. <laughs> <laughs> I've run away from you. Use the long reach. You use long reach to zoom out further? Yeah. <laughs> trust to me. run faster. Just trust me, it'll work. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it different. I'm coming I'm coming to see. I'm on my no, way. you no, well, now I took it apart. No, no, we can Fine, delay. okay. So on the left is what we have to do because you've you you're putting the power pole in the middle. Right here. Mm -hmm. See in the middle? See this one? Yes. On the right is better. Because mm -hmm. then, yeah. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, how about we do instead of putting yeah, the power I don't, in the middle? I don't know why I do it like that. Like, How about instead of putting the power in the middle, we just put the power on the edges? Yeah, I don't know why I do it like that. It's, there's no specific reason whatsoever. I do it because I do. Well, I used to do that, and I think we first talked about it. Remember, remember a long time ago, back when the the uh, inserters would grab from the center of cargo wagons, and we were doing that campaign. Ah, yes. Uh, and we bitched about it, and then it got fixed. And, and I'm like ninety percent sure it's because we bitched about it. <laughs> Could be not us, but I really think that it was. I'm gonna take so. the credit. Oh, fuck it. I'm big-headed enough. I will take that credit. Well, you can't you know, stop me. When you complain about something and then the very next patch it gets changed, it, it, it tends to, like, I feel the same way about some of the changes that are happening in the Victoria 2 patch. Did you read about that? No, I haven't looked. It's been like, I don't know, five years probably since the last Victoria 2 patch, and now there's uh, a patch that's being made by Wiz, Wiz the yeah. uh, lead developer for E4, and uh, a couple other guys, Johan, and uh, I think it was Groggy, um, Hendrik Farus. Who, uh, or is he Doom Dark? I can never remember his handle. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, they were doing it in their spare time just for fun. And and I'm like, looking at all the chesters, I'm like, yeah, I bitched about that, I bitched about that, I bitched about that. <laughs> like, and I know from talking to Wiz that he was actually watching part of my Sweet Navia campaign. So I, I think what it was, and this makes sense, I gotta, I really respect the way that Wiz works for Paradox. Like, he was enjoying the campaign and he's like, I think he was taking notes. And then he's just like, yeah, I'm gonna make Victoria 2 better. <laughs> and he just went and did it. <laughs> In his spare time, and it's just freaking awesome. Um, we had I done uh, you know those like the shitty simulator games that you get on Steam, like they're they're fucking terrible and they've got horrible physics and stuff. Okay, yeah, no. Well, I done I, I done uh, like a a week long series on one of them called City Economy. Okay. Which was fucking terrible. Like, like I I, I penned the name Shitty Economy because it was that bad. And uh, everything I complained about in every episode, like, a couple of days later, got patched and fixed. Nice. I was like, that's it's, fucking awesome. I think it's a good feeling when that happens. I mean, it just seems like... Not not only do you feel like you're actually, like, making a difference, making the game better a little bit. You can't really say, like, hey, it's all me. It might yeah, not have been. Yeah. There's, there's definitely because if, if it's annoyed me, then it's probably annoyed people in the yeah. community. Yeah, who knows? There could be, like, a huge forum thread or something, and I just didn't see it. But... Yeah. At the same time, it's just nice to see that uh, things are getting improved. Yeah. Like when a, like Factorio or um, 
for a while, Banished was the same way, where like they'll respond to community feedback and make the game better. Yeah. That was a good game, Banished. It was a bit simple for my liking. Yeah. Why is the train but it not a good running? Game. Uh, it's waiting until it's full. It is full. Oh, uh, we probably fucking confused it. Active? Oh, there you go. I don't know why it wasn't. Oh, it just wasn't playing. It wasn't playing? What do you mean? Yeah, like, I, I, I wasn't running it. I wasn't running the train. Did you update the depot? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I should have got on that train. <laughs> no, train! Oh my god, can I? Can I? Can I update the depot while riding the train? No, I can't because I've got no inventory while I'm riding the train. But damn it! You can't access your inventory while you're in the train? While you're doing the uh, the train plus control the train thing, the, the fat controller thing. Oh, okay. Battery is finished. Laser turrets are available. Yeah. Oh, think... yeah, actually, laser turrets are good. Because we're playing vanilla. Yeah, we need those. Like the, the hot garbage on Bob's mods. Hot garbage. You, hot you garbage. learned that. I, I, I could swear I've heard Northern Lion say that like 50,000 times. Have you been watching Northern Pro Lion play? I've been watching far too much Northern Lion. You've been watching Binding of Isaac, haven't you? Yep. Hey, Two times okay. speed. Yeah, well, that's the only way to watch videos on YouTube. You know when you know when I went <laughs> back to playing Binding of Isaac after watching so much in two times speed? I just, I would have killed for some speed upgrades. Like, everything was moving so slowly. Yeah, I, I always feel like it makes me feel like the game is easier because... Because everything's cause I'm, super slow. I'm like used to the super speed, yeah. Yeah. I can't say much. I started a, a brand new save file. So what? I'm missing like all of the good unlocks and stuff that you get. Because I, I, like, I don't know, going from playing Rebirth a lot to then going to Afterbirth. But like that was me going back to the game after a long time of not playing it. I kind of wanted everything to be fresh again. So I started a okay. new save file, but now everything's fucking harder because my characters aren't starting with the good items and 90% of the good shit isn't actually unlocked yet. Yeah. That's horrible. Yeah, I gotta say, like, getting God, not not Godhead, getting Death's Touch in your first item room is pretty, pretty splendid. <laughs> Feels good, man. <laughs> Feels good. Okay, um, I'm gonna move the, uh, I was working on that. I'm gonna move these iron lines over so you have more space. I don't know how you're playing it. I was just gonna give you more space here. Oh, I kind of shimmied it a little bit, but... Fucking everything needs to be moved over now. Uh, two space. Arg. I'm amazed at how long this meager amount of coal has lasted. Yeah, it's impressive. Like we've not really tapped it hard at all, and yet it's fun. It's it's doing everything. Like we we should probably check on that actually. God modules, that's what it is. Actually, look at that. Part of one of the one of the uh, one of the two um, power chain is has no coal. So yeah, it's actually a good thing I just commented on that because we are oh. right up against the edge. Yeah, that's rough. And we actually mined out one of the miners. We're under attack again. Oh, what are you doing, Arimba? You're annoying the baiters. Quit it. Right. Oh shit, I just made a load of steel chests. That's not a big deal anymore. No, I think it's a problem. Uh, we should get... Uh, let's do military. Let's get that bullet damage. We want military two. We should probably have military two by now. <laughs> yeah, quite probably. Right, shove you there and boom. 
I am missing my Bob's mods uh, electrical poles as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Just stop. Don't, don't. You're gonna make me want to play Bob's. <laughs> keep it up. Is that enough room? Are you good? You don't need to worry about these old these oil pipes. No, no. I've already moved them. Okay. Well, I think we can probably safely start trying to get some more gear production. Um, we definitely have enough iron ore that I can test that theory earlier about whether or not uh, fast inserters would make the difference on 10 line, 10, ten uh, furnaces. Mm, yeah. Ah, even with um, the long reach mod, it's still too far for me to run to get all my shit. I still need to run like halfway across the factory to get anything. Uh, I'm just gonna. We're gonna have a wood storage chest. Cause <laughs> tired of all goddamn wood. Oh, I blew up most of mine. <laughs> I, I blew it up. <laughs> I threw it on the ground. Yeah, that reminds me of uh, Finding Nemo. There's a, a scene in Finding Nemo where they're talking about the uh, the sharks, you know, and he's just it's the it's the uh, <laughs> it's the what's that what's that animal called? Pelican. The pelican's telling the story, and he's just like, and then he met three sharks, and he blew them up. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that's it. I don't know. Why I find that funny. I'm glad you're having fun. Yeah, I'm a great guy. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna take all my useless stuff and I'm gonna blow it up! <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> We're under attack by a Roomba. I thought that was your pelican impression. Obviously. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna run some copper off of the bus so that we can have some bullets and guns. Gears? Gears, iron, copper, steel. I need four components to make turrets and bullets. Right? Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yep. This is going to be awesome. It is so nice being able to do long reach mod just to put down like, you know, a whole a whole long lo row of belt to move stuff forward. Mm, yeah. It's very convenient. Even when you've got robots, it's still nice to be able to place stuff down instantly. As opposed to having to wait on the fucking robots to do, to figure out what they want to do. Yep. Right. So that's me got all of this crap here. I don't know how you want to balance it though. Mm. Okay, we're gonna have guns, ammo. Maybe not in that order. <laughs> so, gear... Uh, how many things... Probably just two things making guns, right? This depot looks awesome. We need to use more iron ore, though. Right. Should probably get some plastics done. Yeah, well, eventually. I agree. Do you want Seems to... Like great. Do you want to run coal on the bus? Or have we not given ourselves a, a lane? I think so. I, I think, yeah. Uh, usually what I would do is... Um, I would usually... What, coal is one of those things, like... I would either run it along the stone, with stone, because stone and coal can be used to make 
something. I don't remember what. They're kind of used somewhere in the same process. Or Look. I would have like a single... You know how normally you have a two-tile gap between the different paths, like right here? Mm -hmm. I would pick one at random. Well, not at random, usually towards the center of the bus. That would be three. And then, you know, instead of having to do uh, like, you know, underground about like that, on that one you just end up like something like this, right? With an extra, no big deal. Yeah. And then you can run coal through the center, and there's always space for it to just constantly be going underground. Yeah, well, we've got a four gap here. This one's a four gap. Well, not, that's not... Oh, it is? What? Yeah, because that's the... There's the two iron, and then we've got the four gap. Oh, that was for oh. the... The roboports, right. The roboports. But you can still put a belt under a roboport, like a belt fits. Yeah. An underground belt fits okay. under Okay, well, a there you go. That's where, uh, that's where we run the coal then. Just pick, pick one of the two spots and call it good. I figure it's probably about time to start getting all these things operational. Yeah. You tell a Roomba to use more iron, so what does he do? He just plonks some more buffer. <laughs> well, we gotta do something with it all, right? Right now it's just gathering up. That's fine, we'll use it. Have you had a look at the depot? Uh, no. That's great. I'll come look at it one second. Yeah, that'll be a good spot to put the coal though, I think. Do, 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 do. Hmm. So you just did two of them side by side, I like it. Huh. It does look, does look nice. Although, we're only using half of the uh, the belts on the output side. Maybe it'd be better to put a to, to put like a load balancer like right as it comes on off each the of train. Them? Yeah, I was thinking that. Okay. Right, I forget. Now I remember. You forget, and now you remember. That's the proper way to do it. Yeah. Crap. Ah. I wonder attack. Was it an actual attack or like a fake attack? I have no idea. Sounds like it was probably a fake attack. Because it's not going wah, wah, wah anymore. I much, I much prefer to split off a quarter of the overall throughput of the bus. Like this. Nice. Very nice. Um, and then we'll bring down some copper. Ugh. Ah, what? What was that all there about? There we go. That's, uh, I don't really have enough space to do proper load balancers here, but kind of done. Yeah, that should work. Okay. Yeah, I think we've got more iron ore than we know what to do with right now. Oh, we've got modules. Yep. I did let's that. Get the, uh, let's get the next best one then. Uh, I never did do lights, did I? Oh, you said you were gonna. Yeah. Now you lied to the poor people at home. Uh, lights is not actually that com The reason I didn't do it, I think I needed, uh, any copper? No, lights doesn't work like copper. They had everything I needed. Oh, yeah, I was gonna do it here. Alright.
Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I hear ya. Sticks. You need to make iron sticks. Right. Get the copper run down this main bus now. Eh, not the copper, the coal. Should be good. How many guns do you want? All of them. Oh, okay. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to do was bullets. I don't have any decent place that the coal is grabbable from, though. That's shit. All right, well, I'm ready for a break if you are. Yes, um, yes. Before we get to... Too engrossed and then end up 40 minutes in. Yeah. Because that, that, that could easily happen. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, I'll... Uh, yeah, it was this you or me? I forget. Ah, oh, to fucking... Probably me. Thanks a lot for watching. I've been Steve, you've been awesome, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. All right, see you soon.